Oh, man. It has been a while. Welcome back, guys, to downtown Coolsville, population us. I am your host, Mean Peas, or Empathy Sauce, and we are jumping into the final episode of the Bloodborne Lore Through. Um, first off, I want to apologize. I've been gone for a long time, <clears throat> like about a month. Um, I just want to let everybody know what was going on. I was having like a lot of stuff, a lot of personal stuff um, that was happening uh, that I really needed to take care of. Um, and every time I had to deal with those things, it just kind of um, left me worn out, truth be told. Um, so yeah, I was really 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 tired um each and every week when i went to go and record and i was like eh, it's just gotta pass it's gotta pass uh which is unfortunate because i've missed you guys um for a very long time and this is the end of the bloodborne lore through um <clears throat> while i was away i wasn't not thinking about it um I thought about it just about every day, um, because I know that that has been, um, this has been waited for, for a long time. Um, and yeah, I think I want to try and do this in one, f one fell cut, um, with very limited editing, because this is, um, you know, we have the holiday. Tomorrow, I'm recording this on Christmas Eve, um, and so, like, I need to think about, you know, my time as well. Hmm. Oh. You know what I need? Yes, I need. So, what we're about to do... <clears throat> Is we have three boss, um, three boss fights that we're gonna take care of. Um, and there is, yeah. <clears throat> um. Yep. Make sure you have. Um, sedatives on for this next part um, and I imagine this is going to be a quick episode too I don't think it's going to take that long but um, who knows given um, how this part tends to go oh wow I am earnestly surprised every single time I've tried to do that, I have died. Um, at least once. Um, I don't think there's ever been a time where I haven't died trying to do that. Okay. Drink. All right. <clears throat> Unable to acquire pebble. That's fine. That is quite... All right. Some King Cold Blood. Um... This part can get really scary. Um, don't let it intimidate you. Just have sedatives on deck, um, and you should be okay. Just gonna... okay. That should be. 
should be everything. In this stretch, at least. There's a little more we have to deal with, but nothing too bad. These little guys have faces. Um, human faces. And, uh, <coughs> bowl cuts. Which I find kind of funny. Alright. Now. This part always confused me. Because I'm like, I'm not... Okay. No, I know where to go. I know where to go. See that hole in the floor? We're not going to go there yet. <clears throat> First, what we got to do is got to head over here. Um, if you guys remember or recall, um, when we first got to the Nightmare of Mensis, there was something that was um, inflicting frenzy upon us, that bright light. Um, we're going to take care of that bad boy. That's taken care of. Drop. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No. <clears throat> Stop staring at me with them big old eyes. But, um, we gotta make it over that way. There's a need for her to... Yep. Yeah. Alright, girl. I was, like, half worried that the, um... <clears throat> Ludwig's Holy Blade would catch on the wall. I wouldn't be able to get her. But that was the choir bell. And the choir bell is... Special honor tool of the choir. High-ranking members of the church. Fashioned after a bell that projects an arcane sound across planes of exist existence. The sound of this smaller, silver version of the bell does not cross planes, but grants vigor and healing to all cooperators. Um, really good if you're doing um, co-op against a boss or something that your friend is stuck on. Um... Really, really, really invaluable item to have. Um, I do believe. Yeah, because I can't drop. Um, I think that's it. Down here, anyway. Or wait. Nope. I lied. Totally forgot. Don't worry. Um about coming down here, there are no enemies, nothing can hurt you. Um, Great One's Wisdom, Arcane Damn Blood Gem, another Great One's Wisdom, Great One's Wisdom, damn. Bunch of wise asses over here. <coughs> That's not funny, I'm sorry. Madman's Knowledge. I think this is another Blood Gem. Or blood tinge. So that would be something that you would put in your gun. Um, or if you're running the Chikage. Um, as a weapon. Open the door with the iron key. Alright. So. Um, now that we have dropped uh, that giant brain. Um. We gotta go to it. And first make sure you make sure you don't roll into the giant hole that we dropped it down into. Otherwise otherwise we'll run into some, some problems. But here is your blood rock. Now. Embed in weapon to fortify. This is what gets your weapon to plus ten. Um a large solid chunk that forms in cold blood. After death, a substance in the blood hardens, and that which does not crystallize is called bloodstone. 
Uh, there, this is no mere chunk. It is nearly a boulder. Few bloodstones of such size have ever been discovered, even considering the combined experience of all the hunters. Um, so, for a while, this was the only um, blood rock that you could get in Bloodborne. Um, but they added one in the DLC, which I didn't get because we did a pacifist run uh, for the sake of this lore through, um, through the fishing hamlet. Um, ooh. Let me pull out Do what uh what I have before. It was um yeah, whatever, I'll just keep it on. <laughs> um Here's a little man. I was looking for him. I was like, where the heck did he go? But, um, he's like, oh boy. <laughs> Another frenzied cold blood. Um, oh. What were you going to tackle? over there. <clears throat> Dude, like, went to attack something, and it's just like, I don't know what you're... Oh. Yeah, he's already aggro, and I don't know why. A really good defense, though. I've always gotten the backstab on them. I've never actually, like, approached them legit. Quote, unquote. Um. So it was interesting to see that. And we got the tormented nanny. Was able to get that visceral off too because tormented nannies can be a, a big issue oh 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 i don't want any trouble no trouble big man you want to come down with me fall on down <clears throat> Oh my fucking god, it's so sick. It, it, and I know I normally say sick as in like, oh yeah, like, it's cool. Um, yeah, this, this thing is downright disgusting. Um, this is the brain of Mensis. Um, and you, you're gonna want to pick up, um, the make contact gesture that's in our Upper Cathedral Ward video. Um, and you're gonna want to do it here. And you have to wait with it. Once it switches over, um, you should have gotten the eye rune, um, so, you know, symbolize the truth which Master Willem sought in his research, disillusioned by the limits of human intellect, all that good stuff. And then, once you've got that, Now, this thing has a ton of HP, as you can see. Um, I'm using, of course, thrust damage, because it's weak to thrust damage. Um, 
Otherwise, this would have taken a lot longer to do. But we are to put this nightmare to rest. You can't target it, and I thought you could. And finally, you will get the living string, which I think... two of these. <laughs> Special material used in a holy chalice ritual. The immense brain that Mensis retrieved from the nightmare was indeed lined with eyes on the inside, but they were of an evil sort, and the brain itself was terribly rotten. But even still, it was a legitimate great one, and left a relic, a living relic at that, which is a precious thing indeed. I mean, is it? Is it? Let's get out of here. So, yeah, dudes. Um, uh, I think that should be good. And then, um, I'm just gonna re up on the, um, blood vials, and we will continue through the end of the Nightmare of Mensis. Also, gonna buy some, um, up on the sedatives too. Okay. We are going to put um bolt paper. Yep. Okay. Okay. Now. I'm just gonna run right past ya. Just gonna run right past ya. Zump. Fight the shadows of Yarnum. How about that? Yeah? Yeah? Ow. Okay. I, I didn't expect him to knock me down like that, but. Alright. Okay, you, you guys are just going to gank me, aren't you? Ow, fuck. There we go.
Do you folks remember the um, young woman we met at the end of our fight with Rom? She's back. Um, and she has a very interesting name. Um, this is Queen Yarnum. Mother to the nightmare newborn, Murgo. Come over this way. Here is the shortcut. All right. Bring that back up. I don't have to. Um, can I do this with 16 blood vials? I think I can. Um, I could pay dearly for that, potentially. But I have full HP, um, 16 blood vials. I think we'll be all right. I just hope that I have the correct defenses in line um, for this fight. That's like the only thing. It's a lot of slash damage. Um, oh, goo goo gaga. goes wet nurse Mergo does this, the little uh, dark room thing, you just want to run around the arena until it goes away. I know it's going to look weird, but it is perhaps your safest option when she starts doing this. Okay, 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 okay. Mergo, I, I literally can't see. Alright. Now that that's all done. Lock? Okay. Wait. There we go. <clears throat> Margo's wet nurse.
Nightmare Slam. And the final third of the umbilical cord. Now, in order for us to get the ending we're aiming for, that should be the last one that we need. Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached the end. Good hunter, you have come. Dawn will soon break. This night and this dream will end. Gammon awaits you at the foot of the great tree. Good hunter, I sense the ancient echoes. They course your veins. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. <clears throat> it is time. Gotta think of what weapon to go out on. Good hunter, you've done well. The night is near its end. Now, I will show you mercy. You will die. Forget the dream and awake under the morning sun. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. <laughs> dear, oh dear, what was it? The hunt? The blood? Or the horrible dream. Oh, it doesn't matter. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Tonight, Gammon joins the hunt. <coughs> okay. All right, Gammon. I, I, I want to get him further away from the tree. Also. Ooh. Okay, fair, fair, fair. Ooh. 
I forget what that is. Okay, it's just an AoE. Ooh. I, I shot him. I shot him. I shot that guy. I shot that old man. Ooh. That's fine. Moon presence. It's um quite squishy. So yeah, as you can see, pretty squishy. Um, it's actually a little pathetic how fast it goes down. Um, but that's it. Are you cold? Yes, actually. Are you cold? Unironically, yes. Oh, good hunter. And that, as they say, is that Giles Morkant has propelled humanity into its next childhood um thank you everybody for tuning in this was probably one of um or i mean i i you know this is still a nascent youtube channel um but this series has done the best out of this persona 5 royal um and it 
kind of blows my mind that it does like each of the I'm I'm going to skip the credits. Um but how like each of these videos got like double digit views, which again, I I know that people are like, "Oh, you know, whatever, you got to think bigger than that." And then it kicks you right into New Game Plus. Once again. Um so it's like this nightmare never ends. Um but yeah, just like actually um surprised that it's done so well um but i am thankful that it has so i gotta figure out what we're gonna do next um in bloodborne's place it might be another FromSoft game i was low-key thinking sekiro but i was also thinking earthbound um i don't know we'll figure something out anyways um i have been your host mean peas um aka empathy sauce and i will see you on your next trip to downtown coolsville thank you everybody for joining in and i will catch you guys next time